Wow, the year of 2023 is starting to wrap up, and this is going to be your last self-publishing news segment for the year. I've got a few pieces of news. Uh, some of them actually are going to probably send your eyebrows. One of them includes Spotify's premium subscription model for audiobooks. Someone's actually got a lot of questions and concerns, kind of like how I did about Spotify's premium audiobook distribution option. Smashwords end of year sale is here. Do you have your book enrolled in it? And have you looked at the books that are available for purchase on over there? And... Ally, the Alliance of Independent Authors, has just recently launched a new forum available for everyone. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And they're going to do away with their Facebook group, but that's okay because this forum is already mm, chef's kiss. It's the bee's knees. All that and more in the self-publishing news for December the 18th of 2023. Let's go ahead and jump right into things here, folks. I want to start it out. Very first thing is going to be the hot piece of news coming from the Coalition of Concerned Creators. Spotify, we demand transparency for audiobook creators. We are writers, musicians, literary agents, and other creators demanding transparency from Spotify. Specifically, we are concerned about the streaming giant's new audiobook streaming offering and the impact it will have on author compensation, the value of books, and the literary industry more broadly. Let me give you the TLDR of the situation here on this. Now, uh, about a couple of months back, it may have been sooner here, Spotify, uh, or Find Away Voices by Spotify, had announced that they were not only offering a la carte sales through Spotify, but now they're offering the premium subscribers of Spotify the option to listen to 15 hours of audiobooks every month. Now, the question I had for Find Away Voices was, well, how much are we getting paid? Their answer was, we don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's what's the pool that we're pulling from? They don't know. All they told me was wait until January when the first paycheck rolls out and then you can be able to make an informed decision on whether or not to make this. Now, here's the thing. If you want distribution to Spotify, you ha it's an all or nothing thing. So I still want to sell my book through Spotify but if I want to sell my book through Spotify, I also have to offer it through their subscription model, which means it's probably going to be cents on the dollar because based on how Spotify has treated musicians over the years, it is not a good history with them. It is, it's not. It isn't. I've heard numerous musicians' horror stories of having lots of their songs streamed time and again and getting paid cents on the dollar for doing that. And so I was just kind of concerned about something like that. And they just kind of gave me a, well, wait and see type philosophy. To me, I think that Spotify should do the right thing. They need to separate those two options out. Spotify for a la carte sales and Spotify for subscribers. Because to me, I don't want it there. I personally don't want to be paid cents on the dollar, but this means now I'm going to have to probably sacrifice a la carte sales for Spotify. Come on. So the Coalition of Concerned Creators is a group that's been put together. If you want more details about them, you're going to go over to concerncreators.org to get more details about it. Um, I, I'm glad to see somebody stepping up to the forefront. Big shout out to my friend Rob Balasabas of Uscreen TV for sharing this information to, uh, with me. He was like, whoa, he didn't really realize how far this goes. And I just feel like, man, a, a company like find away voices i really loved and it was bought by spotify about the year before last and there were some great changes that happened when they did acquire it but now slowly but surely they're starting to pull away some of those great features and some of those great benefits and perks and it's almost like they realize there's not too many alternatives out there beyond acx and you know what my stance is on acx so it's almost like they're just gonna push their luck so, so my thoughts on the situation, if you think I'm overthinking, then all the more power to you. All right, the next piece of news up here is going to be from the fine folks over at Publish Drive. They're going to let you know that as of now, we're writing to inform you of changes regarding our ISBN system. Due to recent external factors, we are suspending the assignment of free ISBNs. Instead, we will revert to our using our regular PUI, Publish Drive Unique Identifier System for eBooks and audiobooks, which offers functionality similar to an ISBN. You'll need to use your own ISBN for print on demand just as before. Oh man, so 
I didn't even realize, to be honest with you, that they had free ISBNs available, but now Publish Drive has pulled that away. Now, Publish Drive is a an aggregate publisher, but they function differently than other aggregate publishers like Drafted Digital. Drafted Digital is a revenue share. In other words, that they take 10% of all sales that come in and you collect, I think, like 60% and 30% goes to the retailers that are selling it. Now, for something like Publish Drive, they don't take any percentage. All they do is they charge a subscription fee. Um, there's a subscription fee, I think like 14 or 15 bucks per month for a single title. And if you want like six titles, it might be like 17 or 18 bucks. And this is a platform. It's not meant for everyone. And I will be covering Publish Drive more in depth here going into January of 2023. Um, but, uh, it, it is a model for those of you out there that are making a substantial amount of sales or have a, an established following and you don't want anybody else to take any more of a cut of your money. So just something to think about and they don't have the ISBNs available, but chances are super likely that if you're leveraging an, a platform like Publish Drive, you're probably already covering your own ISBNs. All right, let's go over to the other piece of news coming from the Alliance of Independent Authors. They are now inviting you to Ally's new networking space and see this is something that I just, I recommend every author out there that they do is network with other authors. Don't try to go it alone. Work with other authors inside this space because you're going to learn from their mistakes and from their successes and vice versa. And, and just the rising tide raises all boats. And I'm going to tell you that there's no better folks than the folks over at the Alliance of Independent Authors. I am a bit biased. I am part of their advisory board, but that doesn't mean that they aren't simply fantastic. So there's no affiliate code to this at all. Although you can go get yourself set up for a membership at dalelinks.com slash ally. That's besides the point, but you can go over to their new forum to get um, more insights and updates within the self-publishing community. Really, really super cool. I absolutely love the fact that they had rolled this out. All right, next piece of news comes from the fine folks over at Draft the Digital. They are letting you know that holiday office hours, Christmas falls on a Monday this year, so our offices will be closed on Monday, December 25th, and Tuesday, December 26th. Normal office hours will resume on Wednesday, December 27th. Offices will be closed on Monday, January 1st, in observance of the new year. So there are those dates. And speaking of Draft the Digital, not too long ago, I did tell you about their company, Smashwords, doing the 2023 end of year sale. Oh my gosh, peruse the catalog of all the books that are on sale. Look at all these beautiful covers. And I'm saying this is, as listeners are probably like, I don't see it, Dale. Good news is I put a link to it so you can see all the promos that are available. Some of them, I'm ready to just go ahead and snatch them up. I'm like, man, these are really, really cool. But I want to let you know that most of my books are marked down 75% with the exception of my new publication, a short essay called How to Write a Book in 48 Hours. That's available for 50% off. This is going to be good till the end of this year. And after the end of the year, well, January 1st, all the prices go get jacked up. So go over if you've been waiting to get any of my publications lately about self-publishing. You want to head on over to my store and get that. That's over at dailylinks.com slash smashwords store or smashwords sale. All right. Big shout out to the Indie Author Podcast. Maddie Dalrymple is actually, uh, she just interviewed me today and literally puts out the interview right away. We talked about my new publication, the short essay, How to Write a Book in 48 Hours. She uh, asks a lot of questions about what I learned throughout the process. You guys are going to find out that, um, yeah, I'm not Superman. I am an author just like you. Yes, uh, I do make my mistakes. I do, uh, <laughs> I do have my heartaches, hassles, and horse manure. But uh, you will get some great insights on this 12-minute interview. And also, a big shout-out to Maddie because she is now offering a consulting service for those of you out there that want to learn how to get guest appearances and interview like a pro. And this is coming from a professional who has done over 200 interviews. Yes, I've done about 150 over the years. She's done over 200. So uh, to say the least, you are in very capable hands with Maddie Dalrymple, and she'll be able to give you so much advice. I can't say enough nice things about Maddie. She is just a great friend and someone that you're, you're going to be in great hands with. So take a look at her consulting services if you're looking at trying to break into the world of podcast interviews and land some great guest appearances and really build your brand and get your name out there. All right, next item up in the news comes from the fine folks over at Dibley Create. Yes, Dibley Create is running their Merry Christmas Christmas sale or holiday sale. It's 20% off by 
using Merry Xmas 20 to zero at checkout. That'll be 20% off their annual subscription. All right, normally they're like about 20 bucks per month. So you take 20% off on that. You're gonna be getting considerably cheaper. I am not doing math right now because it's just getting too late in the day here in Ohio. All right. <laughs> Moving further forward, the fine folks over at Lulu just launched a podcast called Publish and Prosper that is being hosted by Matt and Lauren over at Lulu. So they're going to talk everything about self-publishing, about AI. They're talking about making money selling books. Uh, I have yet to dig into their series because I've just been hooked on some other uh, podcasts lately over on Spotify. Um, but go check it out, Publish and Prosper, hosted by Lulu. And I want to give a big plug here. I get no money whatsoever by sharing this with you. If you are strapped for cash and you're looking for options for a virtual assistant, that is one of the best, excuse me, strike that, the best virtual assistant on the marketplace today. Take a look at my content manager, Ava Fails. Ava actually has worked with me for the past, oh gosh, we're going on eight years next year. And she is simply the best. And she has struck down a lot of her prices for as low as five dollars for some of her services this includes keyword research categories social media posts book descriptions mock-ups author bios product descriptions troubleshooting quotes stock images emails so much so much more hey yo ava.com forward slash pricing take a look at it and tell her they'll send you on over there and if you don't tell her that either way it doesn't matter honestly she's not going to give you a discount from the five dollars she's already offering it's a pretty good deal go take advantage of it i can't say enough nice things if you've read any of my blog posts um heck actually uh she used to do all of my comments at one point or other i took the comments back from her <laughs> uh she handled my sub stack for the longest time Honestly, a Ava is one of the minds behind self-publishing with Dale. And so if you want to get the next best thing of working with me, work with Ava because Ava is simply the best. And last but not least, I want to give a big, quick, shameless self-plug here for theselfpublishinghub.com. That is my video on demand service where you can get over seven different courses and over a hundred different video courses that you can take advantage of, a hundred different video courses, a hundred different videos, hours of footage you can take a look at. That's over at theselfpublishinghub.com. It's $9.99 per month. You can go ahead and set it up anytime that you like to. Cancel whenever you like. There's no obligations to you either way. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And as we start to wrap up today's podcast and the last news segment for the year, I want to thank all of you for tuning in for the past year or longer means the world to me. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you share it with somebody else that would enjoy it too. And enjoy me over on the Discord community because I'll be hanging out there throughout the holiday season with the exception of my brief one week hiatus. Go over to dalelinks.com slash discord till later. This has been Self Publishing with Dale and I'll chat with you next year. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Special shout out to my channel members for both the podcast channel and the main channel. Without your support, some projects we do at Self-Publishing with Dale would be much harder to fund. If you want to contribute to the cause, visit dalelinks.com slash 